guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday. And for those who do not know, the way we work Fan Friday is we go on Patreon, we select one random comment to win. And if you haven't been paying attention to Fan Friday, Steven has been suggesting our quasi GX and standing with Morgan for. A long time and I love that this is happening uh, that Stephen Clayton and Eugene all use your votes to make sure that Rayquaza GX in standard with Morgan won uh, so <clears throat> you can see the three guys voted for that so we're gonna see the deck and that's a really cool thing we can do the patreon is people can just kind of like okay hey that's a really good idea or they can kind of like come come together and basically see their own decks to do like they can see whatever they kind of want especially when it's just three three guys uh, so big shout out to Stephen Clayton and Eugene. I really do appreciate the guys uh, being Patreons. And I think it's really cool that we did kind of work. I mean, y'all kind of did this together and kind of got this deck ready to go. So luckily for us, PTCG Radio has a list that won in Japan. And that's the one that Stephen has been talking about. So let's switch over to P PTCGO. Hopefully that it, that it mess up any audio or anything. And here is the deck that we are playing today. It is Rayquaza GX with Morgan. Alright, so, Rayquaza GX has that Dragon Rig, right? That's 30 damage, time amount of grass and basic light, or basic grass and lightning attached to your Pokemon. So it's going to do a ton of damage, right? We got Stormy Winds, fought, you know, discard top their cards. I don't think we're ever going to release Stormy Winds, and you'll see why when we start going to the deck. Uh, Shaman is really good for that Flower Storm attack. It does 30 damage, uh, this attack does 30 damage, time amount of basic energy attached to all of your Pokemon, so it can be a non-GX that can do a ton of damage, right? A Verizian, uh, we'll go for Verizian here in a second, Top of Coco for that Dance of the Agents, of course, to get those energies on the field, and then for Tapu Lele, which might seem crazy, but like I said, there's a big reason why, and we'll go over there here in a second as well. It's, it's kind of hard to explain the Verizian Tapu Lele right now. So Energy Recycler, to court get energy back in your deck, for Mysterious Treasure, let's just check for a Psychic or a Dragon Pokemon, Treasure to get back your Pokemon, Ultra Ball Consistency. And here's where the kicker kind of is. What we really care about this deck is Morgan, and I think Morgan is the, the, the green one? Yeah, so Morgan is the green one. Uh, Morgan has this really cool effect. Uh, you can only play this card if you discard Dana, Evelyn, and Nita from your hand. Look at the top 12 cards of your deck and attach them and attach any damage cards you find there to your Pokemon any way you like. Shuffle the cards back into your deck. So right now we're playing 20 of energies. If we can look at the top 12 cards of our deck and attach any number of energies, we can do a significant amount of damage with like this Morgan boost. Like there's no Vika Volt, there's no like max elixirs, we're using Morgan to get our energy accelerators. And the other, I, I, I can't remember the name that they're called, um, but the other supporter cards, the Dana, Evelyn, and Nita, are actually pretty decent as well. I will only play two Morgan because we have to have all three in our, in our hand. So, Dana, you only play this card if you want as a stage two Pokemon. You search it for two cards and put them to your hand. This can help you search for cards the following turn. We have Evelyn. Uh, you can only play this card if you want to actually one's a stage one. You draw four cards. Pretty good. Uh, okay, right. Guzman, come on, Lily, Morgan, Nita. Uh, you can only play this card if you want to one's a basic. Put an energy from your opponent's act Pokemon on top of the deck. So basically, you kind of negate their energy attachment. So that's what we're playing. Three of the Nita. Three of the Evelyn, three of the Dana, and two of the Morgan. Like I said, we're playing two Morgan because we have. This is the bigger combo to kind of get. Um, and I guess that's it's, it's the Japanese list we're playing. Uh, so two Stevens resolve to search deck for three cards. Put them in your hand. This is going to help you get those Morgans and all the pieces. Four Lily, which is going to be really nice. Turn one, get eight cards in your hand. Goose moves take knockouts, of course. 10 Grass and 10 Lightning. So you might be saying, why are we playing for Lele? Well, the Lele is really nice because you can one attack multiple times in a turn to get that Morgan combo. And you might be saying, why are we playing Verzi and GX? And I think Ross talked about that he used it for double draw. But what you really use it for is the Breezeway GX. Put any of their Pokemon in play and all cards attached to them into your hand. So this is going to help you, like, basically pick up your Leleys, pick up your Verizian, and then maybe you can use the Leleys again next turn, put down three Leleys, and then you can use Morgan again, or VF4, or whatever, whatever you need to get the combos pieces off. So it's a very interesting deck. It's a, uh, it's going to be a little difficult for sure, but if we can pull the Morgan playoff, we can do a billion damage with our Aquasa GXs. Uh, so I'm excited. 
I'm ready to see this, and I have never really played anything like this, obviously. Um, we're always playing new decks on the channel. So what we do almost every day is play new decks. But let's go Rayquaza Morgan. I guess is what we're going to call the deck, right? It is Rayquaza Morgan. So we'll save it, and let's see, can this combo actually work, or will we fall flat on our face? So we're going to try to play at least three games, see if we can get the whole combo in our hand. Like I said, it is... It is a little bit easier in standard um, because there's not like in and there's not VS Seeker. So that's nice, right? But we still have Mars Shadow. So that's going to be the big one. I think there's another one as well, but nobody uses that one outside of Mars Shadow. Mars Shadow is what we, people use to disrupt hands. So we're going to use a Lightning deck. And this could be Pikachu, um, Zekrom. And uh, okay, so we lost the point. I was like, you know, they take a couple turns to set up. But since they're going second or first, they might be okay. So we got the Morgan. We got a Lily. We got a Rayquaza. And we could use Tempers, right? Just your hand, draw 10 cards. But once again, I don't think we really want to do that. So press done. Okay. So Tapu Coco. Alrighty. There's a DC Nest Ball. Ooh, that's gonna be a little hard as a fly and flip kind of deck. Jirachi, skateboard the Jirachi, Cynthia for new hand of six. We gotta start swinging fast. That is for sure. And this deck doesn't play like Zare or for the free retreat, which I think it maybe should. Because like right now it causes has a three retreat cost. It's gonna be hard to move him. Like he's a, like significantly just like just stuck in the active. Unless, like, significantly? I don't know if that's the right word or not. But we see Ultra Ball. We're going to see what else he's playing with Coco. Discards two Lightning for Pikachu. Honage. Oh, it's the one that, like, does, like, multiple damage for, like, damage counter. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I, got it. I, got it. What's... I know what's happening. Okay. So we got two pieces. Put this here. Lily. You know what? We can actually get it next turn. I am so serious. We can have this next turn. Uh, so I'm just going to press done right now. And we can search for the other pieces next turn and go off. Yeah. That's what's about to happen. So there is the Dew Blade. Oh, no, it's a tool. It's a tool drop. Okay. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I mean, he could not take a knockout. I don't. Yeah, he could. Okay, so Lightning, Lily. Okay, so that's fine. I guess it Coco's just to, like... Uh, I thought it was the one that, like, doubles the damage on the field or something like that. Is that the right Honage? Is that the right Dewblade? Am I crazy? Nah, I'm probably crazy. Probably crazy. There's a Choice Fan. Okay. He don't know this, but we're going to go off this turn. Choice Fan. Retreat. Flying Flip for 50. Okay. <laughs> All right, so on our turn, you ready, guys? Ooh, it's not what I wanted. Okay, so go here. Yes. Grab a Dana. Make sure we got the right cards. Okay. I'm so excited, guys. Dana. We'll type a or use another one. Yes. For Evelyn. Okay. Hmm. Uh, put down Tapu Coco. You ready, guys? Where's Morgan? There it is. We'll use Morgan. Discard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So Grass Energy here. Grass Energy here. Uh, grass Energy this guy. Let's see. We'll put another Grass Energy here. So we put one lightning on the active. All right, so lightning here. Lightning. Lightning. There we go. Attach your grass energy top of Coke, uh, top of Lele. And let's all, let's dragon break here. How much damage are we doing turn two? We just did 270 damage turn two. There's Anita, okay. <laughs> okay. There's an Ultra Ball. 
So right now, Dewlight is doing 30. And we have Tapu Gogo, which can start swinging, which is really nice. It can take some knockouts. We can put some energy on Lele. We can maybe stretch her back to Rayquaza. Uh, we'll see. I'm so happy we got the turn two. There's an adventure bag. Okay. Still only 90, so that's not a knockout. Not Okay, uh, even with the choice bit, it's only 120. Then 85 more Pokemon. So adventure bag. Okay. There's two choice bands. Choice band, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Treat, 120. All right. So, I think I want to play a little safe here. I think I want to treat Topic Coco and swing with that. You know what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Or we could just attach the grass two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, we only need two, four, six, eight. Yeah, grass energy. I think I'm just going to take a knockout. Or do we just retreat and make it where we can't take a knockout? Let's do that. Let's retreat to the top. Go, go. I know we're getting rid of the energies. I know. I know. I know. That's fine. We'll put a grass energy here, and then we'll mock bolt for the knockout. Top of, uh, top of Go Go showing some love today. Going down to four prize cards. We find a Shebe. Shebe is another good attacker in this matchup. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, we could use. Uh, no, we could use Nita. Okay, so Jirachi uses Telewish in here. Get a Lily. Can let him get five cards. Okay. So DCE. Right now they're doing 60. And we have resistance as well. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Uh, okay, Nest Ball. Got another Hone Edge. There is a Genesect GX, which can have two tool cards on it. Adventure Bag. So 3, 6, 9, 12. I we'll need one more tool. Okay. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So that is a knockout. But then we can set up Lele, take a knockout on this guy, because he has too many energy attached to you, and attach a grass energy to Shebe. Topic Gogo gets discarded, or goes in a lost zone, unfortunately, because I got discarded that way. But, uh, we'll choose up the top of Lele, two, four, six, yeah. So we'll take a knockout there, okay, on our turn. We get a Rayquaza. Interesting. So we can put down the Shebe. We'll touch a grass energy. Uh, I'm gonna Ultra Ball, discard uh, the Stretcher and Rayquaza GX for another top of Lele. We'll go for Lily, get five new cards. I think that's the best idea. Yep, we'll grab Lily. Okay, oh no! All right, either way, we're about to take a knockout down to three. It'd be really hard for him to take a knockout on us because uh, he'd be down, I think, two DCEs. So that was good. That was good. I don't think it gets any better than that. Like, we were, we put an energy on Shebe, and we had one more. He could have taken a knockout, like, three, six, nine, twelve. He would have done 120. Maybe he takes a knockout, and then we had the other Lele. Maybe we could have found the other combination as well. Wow, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So sideways rain. All right, playing a Zoric Lycanroc deck. So let's see here. Let's let's play against a competitive GX deck, right? That's the question. Can we take down a deck like this? I don't know. Let's we'll find out here in a second, guys. All right, so we get two of the people. I forget what they're called. Um, they were called something when I was watching Ross's video, but I can't remember what he called them, unfortunately. Hmm. That's okay. We'll press done. Get a new hand again. This is so good. All right. Press done. Okay. So we have several options. I think the best way is just Stevens for the three cards we need and just hope he can't knock out a Rayquaza. I don't think he can. And then that way we can save Lily, Lele for Lily the following turn. 
So this is Deontay, and there's a, okay, so I'm hoping it's not Lucario. If it's Lucario, I'm actually a little bit more scared. Because of right now, we're just going to Stevens for three cards. We're not going to show him. He's not going to know what's going on. Maybe he does, but I would be surprised. What I'm looking for is to make sure he doesn't... Okay, that's a Rockruff, not a Lucario. Okay, Rockruff. Fighting. Lele. Let's see here. For um, Lily or, or, or Professor Elms? I was going to say Borghetti. Borghetti is expanded. And since we're not going to put another Pokemon down, he's actually not going to be able to switch his um, guy either unless he commits a DCE. Just saying. So no matter what, I think our Quads is safe next turn unless his opponent, my opponent, plays Switch for some reason, which I highly, every see Zorak players play Switch. So I mean, our Quads is at least safe for two turns. That's really cool. Oh, that is what I'm scared of. The game has changed. Because now he might play Switch. Maybe. Either, I think I'm just going to Stevens Resolve and grab the other three pieces I need, and we're going to go for it. I think that's what we're going to do here. I think that's what I want to do. And that, I know that's what I want to do. So. But we can't Lily next turn because of all the pieces in her hand. Huh. That top deck just saved us. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we have Nita and Dana. So we're gonna just, oh, hold on, let's attach first. Josh, don't get too crazy. Let's Steven's resolve. Okay. All right, somebody's on, going off. So Evelyn, Morgan, right? Evelyn, Morgan, Nita, Dana, and Rayquaza. We're going to put these three cards in our hand and see what happens. Somebody's car alarm's going off and it's bugging me right now. Just saying. All right, so we got to hope he doesn't have Mars Shadow, Switch, Strong Energy, Knockout. So. I'm hoping y'all can't hear that. Because that's really annoying. All right, so let's see what Sideways has. Because, I mean, right now we have it. We've got the Rayquaza, we've got a Lightning Retach, we can go Morgan, discard a three, then we have a Lele for next turn. So communication. If he has a way to knock us out, we'll be so sad. There it goes. It's off. Okay, I can think now. I can think now. I can think now. Think, think, think. All right, so communication. What does he grab here? Like I said, he, he, yeah. mm, there's a Ditto. Okay, I see you Ditto. So I think I am going to Rayquaza and use the Stormy Winds. Just between me and you guys. I'm going to Stormy Winds this turn. And then um, Riola won't be able to knock us out next turn either. Or Lucario won't be able to knock us out. So that's really good too. Because we'll get rid of his Deontay. All right. So there's a Lily, unless he has Kakui, that could get him a knockout. But once again, I don't think he has a way to play Switch. We need to put down the Pokemon so he can't Guzma. Yeah, we're Morgan this turn, and we're going to go crazy. All right, so on our turn. So let's see. So we got a Grass Energy. Okay, so let's Rayquaza. Yes. All right, attach a Grass Energy. Well, Morgan... Hold on, let's put down Lele. Yes, we'll grab a Lily for next turn. Okay. And let's go Morgan. All right. Oh, four, that's it. Oh my goodness. Grass. Let's see, lightning. Lightning. And let's put a lightning here. Oh my goodness. Alright. Touch of grass here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. I mean, we're still 
Dragon Breaking for the knockout. All right, I did two inches. I mean, I know, I know the knockout. I'm talking about like for their own guys, for for their own. Hmm. All right. So two team take a knockout. Right now, look, this guy can't take a knockout. The, I'm I am a little scared of Rayquaza knocking us out. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But we'll see what happens. Luckily, if he knocks out our Rayquaza GX and we find a Tapu Koko, we'll have three energies we can tap next turn. We have a Lily next turn as well, so that's good. So, we got the turn two again. Looking really good. I can see why the deck is super strong. It seems a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. Alright, so there comes Rockruff. Right now, Rockruff's doing like 10, 130, 150 max. That's it. Can't do any more than that. So, no matter what, we're going to take another knockout this turn, go down to four price cards, and then we might have enough energy in the field just to win the game. So, communication. Okay. Let's see what they get here. Unless they got some kind of fairy Pokemon that can do some damage to us. We're going to attach another Lightning, probably to Lele. We're going to Lily for four, three, depending on where our top deck is. I'm feeling really good. This is Zork GX. Okay. Let's see here. Zor Jex will come down, but he's not taking a knockout. Like, there's. N well. There is a way he can take a knockout. If he gets a Zor GX, a damage that does 10 more damage for Dark Pokemon, a Choice Band Kikui, that would do 180. And that would actually put us in a terrible situation. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. Have to wait. It doesn't seem my opponent has a lot, though. I'm not going to lie. They are taking their time, though. They are sideways. They are taking their time. Okay, so there's a Mallow. Can't take a knockout this turn. That's good to note. Good thing to note. Now, this might give the Kikui way to knock us out the following turn. But by then, we should maybe have enough energies to follow up a knockout on a 210 HP Pokemon, which is what his whole deck is. All right, so Mallow put some cards top of the deck. We can see trade here. Hit some stuff. But once again, there's I don't think there's anything he can really do. The best thing he can maybe do is go for a detect here. All right. So we see trade, or he just like swings into us. So this card's a Viridian enforced. There is a Lulin Muck. That's annoying. It gets rid of our Tapu Koko. <clears throat> There's Lucario. Okay, Lycanroc, sorry, not Lucario. I bring up the Tapu Lele. So we're going to see Claw Slash here, which is not going to take a knockout. Okay. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, he has 210, right? Yes, yeah, so we take a knockout here no matter what. Uh, we'll touch. Hmm, how about we play this? So, we'll touch a. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's Lily for 2 and see if we can get a new Pokemon. Okay. Hmm. So we're treating to Rayquaza. You know, I'm still going to just touch a Grass Energy to... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So I'm still going to put a Grass Energy on the... On the Lele. I'm going to Dragon Break for Knockout. Okay, so one thing we maybe could have done was... Um, Ultra Balled... For a... Mm, even then, Shaman doesn't take a knockout, unfortunately. So, top of Lele coming up. Okay, this is looking really good, though. Like, he got the Muck to definitely shut down, like, our Rayquazas and our Tapu Koko. So, there's a Zora coming down. Okay. Will we see a Lily this turn? And once again, if we see a Lily, he is not going to be taking a knockout on us. Like, there's no way he's taking a knockout if he Lilies this turn. Oh, my goodness. We are putting our opponent on this on the pressure for sure. So, we should trade. Discarding a Guzma... It is not looking good for fun. Isn't a Zora come down? Okay. Palpad. 
man, we got this. There's no way we lose here. I think we got this game, guys. We're going to see two victories with this deck. Oh, my goodness. And there we go. Back to back. Turn two. With, we only hit four energies, and that was still enough to take the game. So you can see how strong this deck is. It seems like a lot of fun. Oh, my goodness. We didn't even get to use Shaman. We saw the Shaman might have had the power in the first game. But that was so much. I'm trying to expand the, the deck list. There we go. So there's the deck list one more time. So, yeah, there we go. An actually successful Friday. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Go watch Greensboro Regionals this weekend. And uh, if, you have, if you have time, go test this deck out. It's a lot of fun. And maybe it actually is really good. Um, yeah. Alrighty. Bye.